Right, welcome back guys. If you've just watched the snowman one, you'll know what's coming next. We're doing the Christmas tree. Okay, and if you didn't watch the snowman one, go back and watch the snowman one, then you can see the Christmas tree. It's like watching Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, and then wondering what the hell happened before that. You might as well go and watch The Fellowship of the Ring and The Two Towers first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Christmas tree. My version of Christmas tree. Okay, now I'm going to break this down into bits. I'm going to have the top piece and then a little bit more distance for the next one, a little bit more distance for that one. I reckon we'll get another one maybe, and then I want a little bit of room for the trunk, and then I want the bucket at the bottom, and then part off. Okay, so that's where I'm thinking. So let's see what we do. I'll be going in with part and tool a bit just to give me where everything is. Okay, face shield on and let's start turning. Right, okay. Keep your centre pretty much the same as you're going up. But I'm only going to put two for now because otherwise I'll get a lot of vibration if I remove all of it. Got a lot of this to remove. Put my little line there again, so I know where that's going to be. But that's too much in between them, I think. I don't know, I might get it there. Right, I might get it. Let's see. I think this one might be a bit too big. Right, 
Right, let me uh, let's go to the parting tool. I'm going to go with a parting tool. We can then get in there for now. on the cut. I think I've done that bottom one a little bit too deep. Okay. The first one I've turned for years. Had a little bit of hole in there, didn't I, from the first. Hang if you put a screw eye. Well, yeah, it's going to go on the screw eye anyway. Okay guys, I must admit I messed up a little bit there. Right, maybe, maybe. We might be able to save it, I don't know, hang on, let's just let me bring this down up across here a little bit. And then a little bit on this one. Make it a slightly smaller tree. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Right. I'll come in here to do the. Oops. I'll probably get away with that guys. <laughs> so I'll roll the chisel over, I use the bevel there and I run the bevel down. It's just like having a little spindle gouge this. You can get the bevel rub in and you can just lift the tool to cut the finest of cuts like that a little rough bit just down just going to come in there we go that won't even need a sand in that uh, right there. just come in here for a minute right that's going to be my trunk just clean that bottom up there. I might actually come in and do a little bit of that with the parting tool. So I'm coming, do watch it because it's got quite a small gap. Right, now then, I'm coming into here, so I want to take this down now for the bucket. So, let me get my. I just want to film. Round Just going to use the parting tool to come in here. Where the bottom of the bucket's going to be. Look, the wasp right round me turn. Go away. <laughs> I've got a wasp attacking me. Suck it up. <laughs> Come on, get down the over you. Guys, I've got a wasp flying around me, <laughs> and he's looking to sting someone by the yeah, looks of it. Yeah, oh, that's it. Right, he's gone. dead. He's gone. <laughs> sorry. Sorry if you're an animal. Any activist. wasp lovers, I'm <laughs> yeah. sorry. I've got another one over there, he's going to cop it in a minute. <laughs> oh, there's a couple of them, isn't it? Yeah, there's one up there. I've got quite a few cunts. Suddenly they've just all come in here. Find that like spray yeah. over there. Sorry guys, we've just had suddenly an influx of wasps. Yeah, it's, 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 it go out now. Our spray. <laughs> it's just above your head. It'll probably come down on the ground and then you have to stamp them in. Sorry guys, go on, keep spraying him. Keep spraying, keep spraying. I've got another little one coming on that to fly. No, that's it. Right, okay, we're back to turning. Sorry about that guys. Just taking some nice little shear cuts here, look. Okay, nice little shear cuts coming down. Uh, fraction more, slightly smaller bucket. You know it's like Christmas, it's, the pot's always too small for the tree. That's why your tree keeps falling over. 
<laughs> it's tradition. <laughs> right, I'm just going to clean up this bit. The car and tool. That's it. Now I need to just get in there. No, that's a detail piece. Detail piece, not part until, yeah. Not part until detail piece. That's a part until. This is a part until. Right, I'll just clean up the bottom here. Yeah, 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 I'll just clean up the bottom here. Hmm, feels like a little rocket on that. Mm. Tiny little rocket. Gone. That's it, gone. <laughs> Easy as that. Right, I'm going to do the tiny little bit of sand in. Run it down, so much sharp edges. Right, okay. Again, a little bit of actually, I'm not going to put a sanding sealer on it. I think this will be all right. This will probably be done with pens more than uh, could actually do it with green pens, can not it? Just a bit. Right, yeah. uh, a brown bucket. Have you got brown bucket? <laughs> yeah. Right, we're going to this off. There we go. That's off now. One second, and I'll just stop the lathe. And the tools, and I will just change this and get some sandpaper in there. And clean that bottom up. Sorry about the invasion of the wasps. And yes, I did kill one and I make no apologies for killing a wasp. I don't know why we have wasps. I really don't. I can understand bees, but not wasps. Someone out there could probably tell me the difference, but you know why we have wasps. I don't see a point for them. Horrible little sods they are. They just all they want to do is sting you. Especially this time of year, as you get into September. Flat. There you go. <laughs> right, there you go, guys. I may have, oh, I could have done with that being a little bit closer at the top there, but there you go. I thought I'd made a mistake on it, but I, I saved it in the end. So there you go, and I'm hoping you can see the finish on that. You can see I've actually done hardly any sanding, anything to that, and that's pretty much the finish off of the off of the carbide tools. There you go. Lisa, decorate the little bauble on top. Do it green. Little brown trunk. Little red, red bucket. bucket. Yeah. And there you go. That'd be a little Christmas okay. tree. Another one. And we just put screw eyes in them and we have them hanging. Yeah. So hang them on the tree, do whatever you want with them, really. Give them to people as Christmas presents. They, they love you. <laughs> right. Thanks, guys. Anyway, if you watch the Snowman one first, then there's a Christmas tree I said I'd make. Just my interpretation of one. Like I said, spend more time. Do a variety of different shapes and sizes. If you didn't watch the Snowman one, then go back and watch the Snowman one. It's worth watching. You're missing out. Yep. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Toodle pip.